there's a flex flood today, so I'm mentally preparing for the power outage. Oh, well, we can help stop one because we're going to reduce our energy use from 4 to 9 p.m. What now? I stepped on a plug. Oh, that's my bad. Unplug it. When it comes to preventing outages, the power is ours. Come see our new expansion at Premier Subaru of Fremont. Check out our newly remodeled lot featuring a wide selection of affordable and reliable new and pre-owned cars. Our expanded service area is ready to keep your car running great. Rated the Bay Area's number one in customer retention. Service your car with us and get a complimentary car wash. With specials like this, there's a reason customers love us just like their Subarus. Transparency and convenience. That's our promise. Visit Premier Subaru of Fremont online and in the Fremont Auto Mall. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTV Fox 2. We've seen buses of migrants from border cities sent to places across the U.S. developing tonight. One of those buses arrives in Sacramento. Good evening. I'm Greg Lee. Governor Gavin Newsom says he and California Attorney General Rob Bonta met with those migrants today. The group includes 16 people. Governor Newsom says the migrants were transported from Texas to New Mexico before they were flown to Sacramento. Attorney General Rob Bonta says they have documentation purporting to be from the government of the state of Florida. At some point, the migrants were put on a bus. The bus left them outside a Sacramento church. An investigation is now underway, but the circumstances around who paid for the group's travel, whether people who coordinated the trip misled anyone with false promises, or whether organizers of the trip violated any criminal laws, including kidnapping. Governor Newsom issued a statement on the matter this afternoon, saying in part, quote, we are working closely with the mayor's office, along with local and nonprofit partners, to ensure the people who have arrived are treated with respect and dignity and get to their intended destination as they pursue their immigration cases. While we don't know whether Texas Governor Greg Abbott was involved in this incident, he has ordered buses of migrants sent to other cities in the past. Just last month, some migrants arrived in Denver. Governor Abbott says the bus program gives relief to overwhelmed border communities. The Biden administration has criticized the program. We'll have more from Sacramento coming up at 10.30. President Biden signed bipartisan legislation today that lifts the nation's debt ceiling after fierce negotiations in Congress. He said it's proof Democrats and Republicans can work together. As Fox, as Fox's Lucas Tomlinson reports, many hard-left lawmakers and conservatives are expressing outrage over the agreement. President 